Hey, hey, hey. How are you? Good. Nice to see you. Are you still paying the alimony? Right, yes, you're, oh, you're, you're, getting, you're, you're getting the alimony. <laughs> How you doing? Good. And uh, Hot Legs, Rod Stewart's song? Yeah, that's one of his songs. Yeah. How old were you when that song was popular? Um... <laughs> Not that, it is, not that it isn't still popular, but... Uh, uh, probably about seven. Seven right. years old? Oh, my, my sister God. and I actually used to dance around to that song because right. uh, we were big fans of Solid Gold, and uh, we used to, like, dance around to it. This is, this, anyway. is, this is like a great story. This is like a great fantasy. Uh, a beautiful model, a very successful young woman from New Zealand, meets and marries a, a, a global rock star. How, how did that begin? How did that happen? Where did you meet the guy? We actually met in a nightclub. Um, it's going to sound very tacky. Um, we met in a nightclub. He was imitating. I was doing um, at the time Sports Illustrated fitness tape. Mm -hmm. um, and he was imitating me doing that. And uh, I went up and I said, could you please stop doing that? You're really embarrassing me. And I went to the bathroom. Mm -hmm. And then came back out and we just started talking. And so that was it. That, that caught your eye. That was enough of an icebreaker. And then you married the guy. Yeah. Three yeah. weeks later, he asked me to marry. I just have a feeling if it had been me doing that, <laughs> I'd still be doing time. <laughs> You'd be still there and I'd still be in the toilet. <laughs> don't, don't make me bring back P-Boy. <laughs> uh, and, and how long have you been married now, Rachel? Uh, nearly two, well, two and a half years. Two and a half years, and you have a little baby... Um, a little baby girl. A little baby girl. Yeah, now, that must be very exciting for it you. It is. It's great. She's yeah. a very good girl. She's um, just taking about 12 steps now. She's great. Is this the most beautiful baby in the world? Of course it of is, course. isn't it? I mean, like it has to be. Like parent, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and you have your own show on VH1. Now, what is that? That's, um, they came to me with um, this idea of, we did 10 different shows. Um, uh, they're each... Ten different shows. Right. They're 20 minutes long. They're great workouts. Originally, I was really into aerobics. Um, and then, you know, once I started doing this, you know, I was, it's very effective, very, because mm -hmm. I lost like 10 pounds after I did this workout. So it really does work. Yeah, so when people dial in the show, what do they see? They see you, and it's, and it's you saying, okay, here and we go. And all these professional trainers are in the back of me. And I'm looking like little, you know, compared to these trainers, I look like, with, you know, dumpling up the front there, you know, who I associate with. You know, people out there who want to get up and exercise. And I'm sorry, dumpling? Is that what you said? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes, you couldn't be more out of shape. <laughs> you, you that's have, what the body by VH1 did to me. You, I you have really let yourself go. Uh, and and uh, how are things in New Zealand? Do you spend any time there? Uh, no, I go down about once or twice a year, but um, that's about, you know, that's about I Actually, I won't be going back for another another year but it was it's fine down there i suppose still <laughs> plodding along <laughs> kiwis is that what kiwis, they call them yeah now that that's not a derogatory term is it people don't mind being called kiwis no it's very nice yeah, and, and it's re in reference to the to the flightless <laughs> bird or the fruit oh the, and yeah and the fruit but the, yeah, the flightless bird is yeah. the fruit yeah. it's it's as i understand it it's the only bird it's a very in intellectual conversation <laughs> Well. I like that. Did you hear about the currency thing? <laughs> uh, no, the currency. Tell me about the currency. The, the um, I never. I found out about this after they, they actually chose the person. But um, I was up for the currency for New Zealand for a while. You were I mean, not. Most, yeah, you my, were I was. Not. You don't have to most lie to impress us. Now come dead. on. This is very unflattering. Most of the time you have to be dead. It's probably you know just like the Grammys. I mean, most of the people who get Grammys are you know. Are dead? Is that right? I didn't. I didn't realize that was a prerequisite. <laughs> Gosh, you, you'd, th you'd think something like that would hurt morning. attendance, wouldn't you? Uh, now, wait a minute. Now, wait a minute. Let me get yeah. this straight. So, you were going to be like on the, the New Zealand nickel? Yeah. We'd see you no, on, on the like New Zealand... like a $1 bill. Oh, please. Yeah. That's not... Now, you that's not... Have, you didn't like that, that idea? It's a, it's a great idea, but it's not going to happen. <laughs> no, it didn't. Oh, yeah. I mean, that would be like me being on, on the quarter. That's... <laughs> Make that, make that Susan B. Anthony dollar look like just a complete mistake, wouldn't it? Yeah, the, new, the new Dave Letterman quarters. Uh, so your life is great now, isn't it? It is. Yeah.
<laughs> have you ever been happier? This is probably the happiest you've ever been, isn't it? Yes, I'm very happy. Yeah, right. very happy. We, we need to do a uh, commercial, and then we'll be right back here with uh, Rachel Hunter. <laughs> but when we move the show to CBS, uh, Rachel has taken over the band. <laughs> uh, my thanks to... <laughs> my thanks to James Brown and uh, Phil Hartman. Have a nice evening. Good night, everybody.